Time's now 6.07 here on this beautiful Monday morning, and it seems like we have a marvelous sunrise happening here in Macon. That's right. We're getting closer to the earliest sunrise we'll mm. see this year. June 11th is going to be the date for that. Coming above the horizon this morning at 629. That means we have already got light in the sky as we look live over downtown. It is a cool morning. It is hard to believe we're almost in June. 58 is the current number. Uh, it feels like it should be springtime here in central Georgia, but nope. <laughs> we're headed into June, believe it or not. So there's the radar picture. Not a whole lot going on this morning. We've got 58 in Warner Robin, 61 in Gordon, 55 in Wrightsville, the cool spot east bend 52 this morning in dodge county 53 in mcrae 59 in cordial and 56 in forsyth we look across the state we're finding a mix of 50s and 60s and really it's that way for the most part across the southeast and honestly into the midwest as well we're only one degree off of indianapolis's temperature this morning so there's a fun fact for you to get your monday started as we get into memorial day afternoon we're going to be talking about temperatures being able to warm close to 80 by that noon hour i don't think we're going to go much higher than that maybe low 80s in just a few spots also one or two isolated showers will be possible today. I've got about a 20% chance of rain. I don't think we're going to see a whole lot in the way of storm activity. All that meaning it's a great day to go to the pool. Not going to be concerned about that summertime stuff that we typically see this time of year. But then once we get into the evening tonight, temperatures beginning to cool rather quickly as we don't have a whole lot of cloud cover across the region. Waking up tomorrow morning a bit warmer than we are this morning. Temperatures in the 60s. Also tomorrow afternoon a bit warmer than we're going to get this afternoon with an increased chance of rain. I've bumped it up to about 30% tomorrow. Also would not surprise me to see one or two isolated storms work its way into the picture for your Tuesday. On into Wednesday, we're going to keep the uh, increased moisture trend going going to be looking at higher humidity, also more scattered showers and storms. So I'm thinking a better chance of rain again on Wednesday than what we're going to see today. And it's going to be that way into the remainder of the week. There we go into the first day of June on Thursday on into Friday. Humidity is going to continue to be on the increase. So we're going to be looking at the scattered shower and storm activity. Now, of course, with Thursday being the first day of June, that means we're officially getting into hurricane season. Now, don't expect, you know, a switch to flip and we get hurricane after hurricane. Of course, we gradually get into hurricane season. So look for the increased activity really come out after August 1st, but the season does officially begin June 1st, and we're going to be looking at the first name on the list being Arlene, followed by Brett, Cindy, and Don. And here's the whole list for the 2023 season. A couple of new ones, as one or two of those had been retired in the past. Out the door today, looking for a temperature of 83 degrees. That's going to come right around 4 p.m., mostly sunny skies. Going to be looking at that cooler start this morning. Obviously, as you walk out the door, the wind's also not quite as strong as over the weekend. 5 to 10 miles an hour, as opposed to gusting close to 4 like we did on Saturday. Thinking about grilling out tonight, I've got green spatulas across the board. I'd say fire up the grill here in Central Georgia for Memorial Day. On into the week ahead. Again, temperatures a bit more seasonable than what we saw over the weekend. Average high for this time of year is about 89, so we'll be closer to that, not necessarily to it, but closer to it through the course of the week ahead. A 30% chance of rain Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, down to 20% on Friday for the first bacon game of the season.